What's up, everybody? Stephen Williams, founder and president of the CreditRepairShop.com. I'm just going to jump right into questions and answers, and I will pause the video so we can speed it up uh, in between. We have one person here that said that uh, they had a Santander loan. They were paying $500 per month, and uh, all they're going to do, what they got, uh, I guess they got the card in the mail. And they're upset because all they're doing is giving them a few hundred dollars. I think it's two hundred and forty-four dollars, and they're removing the negative stuff off their credit report. Um, they said that that's not really helping them, and in in a sense, it's not. But if you allow yourself to move forward with what's right there with what they gave you, this is what the attorney generals from each from the thirty-four states negotiated uh you to be able to move forward they can erase the information off your report so you can go out there and potentially get you a better deal on a car and be able to move forward i know paying six thousand dollars a year on a car that probably wasn't worth it and uh i know it just feels that it's unfair a lot of people feel that it's unfair um another person here same thing they said that they have been paying they're only getting two hundred dollars that i guess they got the card too for the settlement and uh they just you know they want to have the loan forgiven i think that's even better or this but they, they forgave the deficiency balance but they still feel that they overpaid and i knew that this was going to happen that even when people got the settlement like they either got their car and the car was paid off. There was a, like a, a certain feeling that was going to come over people. And I did not want to mention it. I did not want to mention it, but I know how people be thinking. And now that people have either gotten the debt relieved, where uh, forgiven, where the, the uh, deficiency balance on the repo forgiven information on their credit report taken off or they got the negative information taken off their credit report and they got the car and uh they got or they uh had the repo also when you got the car repo and the debt was forgiven they gave you 244 dollars that that was not going to be enough for people that that was not going to be enough for people and it goes back to my uh, example that I gave about the about the pyramid or about the mountain, is that uh, people, when you work hard to get somewhere, they don't have to worry about it because they know that only a few people will ever get to the peak, and that's why the peak gets smaller at the top. Well, they knew. And I knew and that even when they gave the settlement to people that they that, that a large group of those people were not going to be happy with it and that only a small amount of people were going to be satisfied and move forward with their life instead of looking back. Yes, people want to vent, but I want to tell you that you if you're venting out, which I hope that what these are is that you're just venting out, but you're letting yourself move forward. Don't get stuck looking in the past. But I believe that that was one of the reasons why the uh, attorney general settled for so low and why Santander was like, this is the, the amount that we would give looks big when you look at it as an individual number, but it's very small when you add it up with all the customers. And no matter what, even if we do it, a large number of those people are not gonna be happy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna negotiate the best deal for our company. That's really what they did. And so, uh, you know, that that's what a lot of this stuff boils down to when settlements are made or when people are trying to do something is that if you look at how the game is set up is that only the people that have uh, 
number one forethought that no, I want to get through something and move past it, not look back. Those are the people that are going to be the real winners in any situation. And that's those are going to be the people that are the real winners with the Santander. We had a, a question yesterday about a, 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 a lady, her, her spouse died. She had a vehicle, but it was only in her husband's name who had passed away. She ended up cutting a deal with the company to uh, pay the vehicle, pay or pay a certain amount of the vehicle off. And then what they did is they came back around and they said, said that they were going to put the rest of the remaining balance on the 1099 seat debt cancellation. And she was wondering, are they going to put that in her name? Or she, the way that they had uh, said it is that it was going to go in her name. Uh, this is what I think what will potentially happen is that they will not put it in her name unless she signed a totally new contract. Even if she negotiated a settlement to uh, relieve the debt in his estate because it's considered his estate and they can, any creditor can take a claim on an estate and it won't flip over into your name unless you actually do some type of contract to take that over. But you can be an heir to, an, to a, a piece of property or an asset, which was, this was a vehicle in an estate but if something is owed on it, you have the opportunity to settle or to pay that, uh, pay that off to be able to keep it, to, to maintain it. And so I don't believe that they're going to send the 1099-C in your name. But even if they do, and she stated that she's on Social Security. So even if they do, or even if you wasn't on Social Security, that you just don't have a lot of income, you would be able to declare insolvency on that debt and it would just be waived. You wouldn't have any uh, penalties or anything on, uh, it's just gonna go to your income and then you'll be able to claim insolvency. And I always tell people, sit down with a tax professional to see how to do that, or you can go online and read how to do that. Uh, someone here said that they got served a summons today and which they're going to pay in a few months, but now they had a summons. I'm afraid. What should I do? Is number one, you should contact the collector, and if you're going to pay it, or if you're going to negotiate a payment on it, contact the collector and just let them know what you know the plan on what you're going to do that, and see if see if they can either move it out, or if you go to court, uh, you can tell. Uh, the judge that you you have a plan to pay it. You just, you know, for what's going on in our country with the virus that you just needed a little bit of time. But if you communicate that with the debt collection collector, you will get that opportunity. Now, let me, let me be clear. If this is a debt collector coming after you for the money they purchased, or it shows that they've been assigned a debt, you should do a debt validation for the summons because they still may choose to move forward with the case regardless of what you do when you uh, contact them. There is a, uh, a service that we provide that can send the response to the summons because you could potentially not have to pay that debt or you could get that debt uh, lowered a lot, a lot uh, more than you may even think when you have the right type of uh, defense. It's a pro se defense, but we put everything together for you. But regardless, even if you don't want to go through that, you could just simply call them up, the, the, the attorney that's handling the case for them, call them up, let them know that you are looking at taking care of that in a few months, you just need more time and, and see if they will uh, move it out a little bit. Okay, we have another question here where uh, and, and they must have went to the Santander multistatesettlement.com website where it states that um, because they, the, the, I, I think what this question, this person is asking is that in the settlement, they stated that 
moving forward and what they what they said had happened in the past about how the dealers were either doing um uh you know power booking adding on to the car to make it look like it was more value they were lying about people's income about their expenses and also santander was doing a uh, uh, uh internal score and this individual is saying that even if they do all of that, that Santander could could come and you would default on the car, and that they would come and get the car, even if you had a a a, a demand or a claim against that. And yes, the way that the settlement was put out there, they can come and take your car if you stop making the payments. And um, that that is that's the way that it was written. I mean that's. Uh, it's it's crazy how they did that, but uh, if even if you are going to get your car paid off, you still have to pay your car until they notify you that you're going to get relief from the settlement. And that doesn't matter from what uh, uh, part of the settlement uh, they believe you were harmed in, if it was power booking, if it was something with the way that they wrote the loans, uh, you know, the way that they did repos and getting the car back and forth, all of that stuff. Uh, really, what it comes down to is that you're going to, if you don't want to lose your car, you're going to have to do a lot of fighting and potentially do a settlement on the vehicle, which is something that uh, uh, a client of ours has been able to get done where uh, they owed roughly a little over thirteen thousand dollars and sell the car for less than than uh ten percent uh let's see here someone here says sadly going to have to file for bankruptcy this week too many bills charge off collections how long does, does it take to get a uh, uh bankruptcy off the credit report it can take some time to get it off. We don't usually start working on a bankruptcy unless someone has been in bankruptcy for, has had the bankruptcy discharge for two years. If it's a chapter 13 bankruptcy, then uh, what you could do is have all of the uh, creditors report positive because you're making payments to the uh, courts on the behalf of the creditors, even though they don't really get any of the money uh but you can have them report positive because they've agreed into that if you file a chapter seven if you go by the book on a chapter uh seven bankruptcy it would be 10 years before it could come off but it can come off a lot sooner uh let's see here someone being sued by debt collector i've never had this happen it's not good at all uh you should um, whenever you're being sued by a debt collector, you should write your responses to the court summons or citation. It's called citation in some areas. Uh, I have videos here on YouTube for it. And uh, you should also be prepared to set up a defense on them with the documentation. You can't go in the court saying the debt is not yours. You can't go in the court that way. You have to go into court. If it's a debt collector that has purchased a debt or it might be assigned from another debt collector, the way they usually do this is they, one portfolio company buys the debt. They go out there and they contract with a local attorney to take those, to sue in that consumer's area. And they will send the summons and they will go to court and they will take a piece of it. What they try to do is get as many people making payments as possible with garnishments if you don't answer the court summons you automatically lose if you don't answer it you automatically lose so and if you don't answer it the right way you can automatically lose and if you don't set up some sort of defense um easy defense is just to state you answer everything the allegations and you just simply state that you don't agree with the amount and you make them uh get all the documentation the contract everything to prove that you owe that amount 
take it a step further, you can go into making them prove legally. It will, that way you're making them prove legally, but taking it a step further, you can make them prove uh, by taking it a step up by uh, putting more pressure on the attorney that's coming into court suing you by stating that have they reviewed all of the paperwork uh, and the way that all of the billing and all of the credits and everything that is being claimed, have they personally reviewed it because they are uh, going into court stating that all of the stuff that they're putting in that summons is 100% true. So you can actually submit to the court a motion to strike that evidence because that attorney is not going to lie and say, I've reviewed everything from this other company when they don't know if that company reviewed because the, the way that this stuff is done is that they sell these debts in packages, thousands of them at one time and no attorney from the debt portfolio company and no attorney that's in your area that's collecting it has reviewed all of those documents to know that everything was 100% true. None of them have. Uh, let's see here. Someone said they want to sign up, but they don't. we don't have a working number. I'll put the number on here. The company that we had the, the service with uh, went shut down or they got changed of ownership and they couldn't connect the voice system to it. We had our own separate voice system for the 800 number and they could not connect it. So we ended up moving on to another company. And that number is 800-803-7390. Let me double check that though, because, uh, uh, you know, just to make sure. All right, I'm going to finish it out with this uh, today. And uh, I want to talk about being able to make differences, to make a real difference in your own life, because we have an election that's coming up. And I want everybody to understand, understand that you maintain the power within yourself. And then us, we all as groups, all people maintain the power. Uh, Regardless of who gets elected, yes, they could be some negatives and positives when uh, administrations change. There could be negatives and positives if the administration stays the same. But we all need to understand that we as people maintain the power and that we have a high level of personal responsibility to maintain our own lives like we have to main let me restate that take full responsibility for everything in your life and you will see that you will get to higher levels that uh you know and the reason why i bring all this up is that i've get i've gotten business associates get giving me calls asking advice i've had uh, people here uh contact me through emails people are very scared about the way that our country could potentially be heading and um i i tell people that we we've probably because we don't get history taught us the way that it should be and that uh you know we we move forward and forget but there was there was a lot harsher times than what we're going through right now and we all should understand that no matter what happens we're going to work our way through stuff and yes certain laws could get changed and certain things could go backwards but the one thing about the United States, as long as it remains a democratic society, is that if one group is not allowed to try to be 
the like the leader over another group if if that mindset main stays uh maintains then we're going to be okay but if that mindset tries to flip to where they try to take us back into the past uh it, it the it's going to it's going to be a big change in our country and but the thing that makes me uh i don't want to say comfortable but makes me feel really good regardless of which way it goes is that technology mindset the ability of uh what's open to individuals is a lot different than what it was in the past a lot different um people that want to go back to the past they can't take technology they can't take uh you know what people's minds have been exposed to back to the past they can only try to take their own mindset back to the past so don't be afraid that this video is a uh, what a few a week away from the election the election is going to be a week in one day from from when i made this video so don't be afraid of outcomes remember that regardless of what happens you take full responsibility for your life your situation things that you can't control what you do is you just figure out ways to work your way through it look at the goal of what you need to, to get done think look at what's the worst that could happen and then you just move forward and you plow through it because you'll always get through it there's always been things that you thought you couldn't get through and working with your credit working with your debt working with what's going on in our country right now this is a time that you lean on people that was born in the 50s and 60s lean on your grandparents lean on your your parents lean on your great grandparents because those are the people that will show you that no matter what there's a way through stuff you know that there's a way through stuff and then also the youth that we have now uh i'm very encouraged because they don't uh you know they're not gonna sit and just let things happen and not to say that people in the past sat and let things happen we wouldn't be where we're at today if people had did that but what i feel encouraged with is that there's no fear because no matter what if if uh, you know if people try to take stuff back to the past it's just not going to happen this country will just not be able to have any type of foundation if people try to people with that mindset try to take uh, people back to a time that I don't know whatever time they're they're trying to think about uh, so I'm in the video here. If you need help with your credit, please visit the creditrepairshop.com. Uh, if you need your credit reports and scores, please go to the website, your, the number three scores.com. The uh, link here shows up here and it's also below the video. If you need help with a court citation or court summons, but not within the same week, you need to give us at least uh, two weeks notice to get this done for you because we get a lot of these every day uh, we can write your pro se defense response to the court summons and a motion to strike the evidence that they brought to court all of that in one package you submit it easily to your uh, clerk's office get it over to the uh, attorney's office and you can have a good chance of winning you know nothing's guaranteed but at least you won't walk into court saying that uh, you know you just don't owe the debt or you don't know how you're gonna deal with it so thank you for your time this is stephen williams founder and president of the credit repair shop.com thank you